Now let's see this problem. Here we have been given A and B are two alloys of gold and copper prepared by mixing metals in the ratio 7 is to 2 and 7 is to 11 respectively. If equal quantities of A and B are melted to form a third alloy that is C, uh, then the ratio of gold and copper in this particular alloy uh, is what? Okay. Equal quantities. Here suppose I see it is 9 kilograms and here it is 11, uh, 11 plus 7, 18 kilograms. So if, if, I have to, if I have to melt equal quantities, I should make it also 18 kilograms. So if I double it, I'll be getting 18 kilograms. Okay. So it is gold, copper, alloy A, alloy B. Alloy A, gold will be double of 7, that is 14 and it is 4, copper is 4. Uh, in this case, it will be 7 and it will be 11. Okay. So it is 15 and it is 21. Okay. Ratio of gold and copper that is 21 and uh, is to 15. That is 3, 7 and 3, 5. Okay. So it's 7 is to 5. As simple as that. No paperwork is required actually. Okay. I hope you are clear. Now in this case, the income of A and B are in the ratio 3 is to 2 and their expenditures are in the ratio 5 is to 3. If each saves rupees 1500, then we have to find out the uh, expenditure of B. Okay. Now income, it's A and B. Income ratio is 3 is to 2 and expenditure ratio is 5 is to 3. Okay, here the difference between uh, these two terms is 1. Here the difference between these two, two terms is 2. So we cannot make the uh, comparison directly. So let, uh, let's let convert this difference uh, into 2. So it will be 6 is to 4 and here it is 5 is to 3. Now here it is income and it is expenditure. And this is one part. Okay, that is difference between income and expenditure is one part and this one part is given as 1500 now we have to find out the expenditure of b which will be three parts okay if one part is 1500 then three part will be 4500 as simple as that okay friends i hope you are clear if you are uh, if you have found out this data you can calculate a's income b's in, uh, income a's expenditure and b's expenditure all the all the calculations can be done very easily. I hope you are clear. Now let's see this problem. If x cube plus y cube is to x cube minus y cube is 91 by 37, then we have to find out the value of this expression. Okay. Here x cube plus y cube upon x cube minus y cube is 91 by 37. Friends, we saw, uh, we have discussed a property of componendo and dividendo. That means if A by B is equal to C by D, then each ratio will be equal to, uh, I'm sorry, then A minus B upon A plus B is equal to C plus D upon C minus D. That means if A by B is equal to C by D, then A minus B upon A plus B will be equal to C minus D upon C plus D. Now in this question, x cube plus y cube is to x cube minus y cube uh, is given as 91 is to 37. Then we have to find out the value of this expression. Friends, we have studied componendo and dividendo. When a by b is equal to c by d, then a plus b upon a minus b will be equal to c plus d upon c minus d. Okay. Now if it is given... It can be converted to this and if it is given it can be converted to this here we have been given x cube plus y cube uh, is to x cube minus y cube that is in this format so we can convert this format to this format okay so it is x cube plus y cube plus x cube minus y cube that is I'm applying component of dividend over here divide by x cube plus y cube minus x cube plus y cube is equal to 91 plus 37 upon 
y cube is cancelled here x cube is cancelled 2 times x cube by 2 times y cube that is x cube upon y cube is equal to 91 plus 37 that is 128 upon 91 minus 37 it is 64 okay I'm sorry, it will be 54. Now, 128 is 64 and it is 27. That means x cube by y cube is 64 by 27. That means x by y will be cube root of this. So, six, uh, cube root of 64 is 4 and cube root of 27 is 3. Okay. Now put the value of x and y in the given expression, you will be getting the answer. Okay, it's 2 into x square will be 16 minus 3 into y square will be 9 divided by 3y square that is 3 into 9. Okay, so it is 32 minus 27 over 27 that is 5 by 27. That means this is the correct answer. I hope you are clear. Hello friends, welcome back to PancakesOnSuday.com. Today we will do the chapter Profit and Loss. Okay, first of all, let me explain you what is profit and what is loss. It is simply sales minus cost. Sales price minus cost price is equal to, if it is positive, then it is profit. If it is negative, then it is loss. So, in case we need to calculate the profit percentage, simply profit divided by cost, cost price multiplied by 100. Similarly, we can calculate the loss percentage. Okay. So, this will be a value in x or y percentage. So one of the very important points in this chapter is in case profit is profit percentage is <coughs> one third of cost price so it will be equal to one fourth of selling price. I can explain you with an example. For example, the cost price is rupees 100, profit is rupees 25, so the selling price will be rupees 125. The profit as a percentage of cost price will be or if we calculate in, in fraction it will be one fourth one fourth of cp cost price and for selling price if we calculate it in the terms of selling price it will be 25 over 125 or one fifth of selling price so whenever we need to calculate the uh, profit uh, fractions then simply we need to add 1 in the denominator in case of profit and if there is a case of loss we need to deduct 1 ok so if the profit percentage is 33% 33.333% of cost price then it will be 25% of sale price in case of profit so if it is 25% of cost price it will be 20% of sales price in case of profit and in case of loss if it is 20% of selling price it will be 25% of cost price in case of loss so let's do some very simple questions okay friends let's do a very important question very simple one if a product is sold at 20% discount and its selling price is 24 rupees what would be the selling price if discount rate is 30% First of all, let me tell you that there is a mark price, mark price or list price on which 
the retailer or the wholesaler gives us a discount. So after deducting the discount rate, we get the selling price. Okay. If the selling price is 24, that means if we assume that mark prices, list prices X and discount is 20%, so selling price would be 80% of mark price or list price. It is 24. Simply to find X, 24 multiplied by 100 over 80 or 5 over 4. We will do like this. So P30 is our list price. So if the discount rate is 30 percent, the final sales price would be 70 percent of the list price. And it will be rupees 21. So rupees 21 will be our answer. This is the selling price if the discount rate is 30 percent. Okay, this will be our answer. So it was a very simple question. Okay, students. So Okay, so let's do a very important question. This question was repeated in SBI PO 2012 or and IVPS PO 2012. So cost price of 40 apples is equal to selling price of 30 apples. You need to calculate the profit percentage. There are basically two methods to solve this question. The first one is the simple one to solve the question in 10 seconds. Cost price of 40 apples is equal to Selling price of 30 apples. That means what? Whenever a person sells 30 apples, he saves 10 apples. So the profit percentage will be one third. It's directly it's one third. So the second method is let's assume that uh, the what, what is the cost? Uh, first of all, we will take the LCM of uh, both of these is, will be come 12, 4 and 3. So let's assume that a person buys 40 apples at 12 rupees per apple. So the cost of 40 apples is 480. Okay. So what is the selling price? Selling price of 30 apples is same as cost price. So what will be the per unit cost? It will become 16 rupees. So here he saves 4 rupees per apple. Okay. Then the, the profit percentage on the cost will become 4 over 12 is equal to 33%. 33.33%. Oh, or one third of cost price. Okay, so in, in chart you can get it as one fourth of selling price. So this is a very important point. In case nothing is provided, that what kind of profit percentage you need to find? You need to find the profit percentage on cost price. If it is specifically uh, explicitly explained that you need to calculate the profit on selling price, then only you need to calculate the profit on selling price. By default, you need to calculate the profit on cost price. So, one third or 33.33% is okay. Hope you like this video. Please like this video on YouTube. I'm providing this video free. So, in case you need more videos like this, you can buy my DVD. I have provided the link in the description. Okay. In case you have any kind of question or query, you can Send me a mail at monty.exe at gmail.com. I have provided my email ID in the description. Okay, that's it for today. Bye.